Hi, my name is Rick Harding and uh, I'm here in San Antonio and I'm just getting ready to go set up at an elementary school. We show proofs so that they get to see what they're going to buy before they actually order the pictures. Uh, we're going to be taking pictures there tomorrow from about uh, 7.30 until noon. We'll do, be doing about 500 kids. We have one setup using Scene Machine, a couple of different backgrounds. That way we'll give them a choice. We have a plain background, which is what the school wants. And then we have, uh, in this case, we have a fall background so that the uh, parents have a chance to get something different. So let's go do it. How long does it take you to set up? 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, depending on what we run into. I'm going to set up and shoot this way because when they come through, they're going to walk around this way, walk across, I'll take their picture and go right back out. We don't have time for them to sit down. Uh, the only concession I make to it for the little bitty ones is I take them on a, a little step up platform, which is right here with feet on it and we say put your feet on the feet and um, we have a marked place for it on the floor and that's that's how we do the little ones and then I have a bigger set of feet to go down on the floor for underneath and we set the uh, the teachers down some people think it's hard to set the whole situation up and it's really not uh, for us it's just Wind it out. And put it up. So that back here. There we go. <laughs> this is about where I have them stand to uh, take the pictures. I don't have any trouble with the screen wash out, so it doesn't really make any difference how far away I am. I don't usually go more than closer than uh, 18 inches, but uh, that's only in special cases at proms. The feet on the floor is for the bigger kids so that they'll have a place to stand when they come in. These are the uh, light reflectors that I developed over 20 something years of working with this system. They're real simple. Bounce the light out. Don't cause me any problems. Uh, they're really easy to set up. I'll show you that in just a minute. And uh, they're made out of foam core so that they're very lightweight and they uh, are easy to make. When I set up to photograph, I know at this distance that I'm going to put my lights about in this position. What I will do is I set them up so that this line, a line that is made from this side will come out and clear. I can stand here at this edge and set it so that it just passes by that edge. That line comes through here and when it does that there's no washout on the screen. I don't have any trouble with it. And the same thing on this side. I set it up so that it comes and passes right by the edge of the screen so that when I take the picture with the kid standing here, I don't have to worry about any, any uh, chance of anything hitting the, back, the background. It's really easy to set up. Good. Yeah, as you can tell, I still have one of the older systems. Actually, it's not the oldest system that I have. Uh, I've been doing this for 26 years now with the scene machine. And uh, a lot of the, some people used to have problems with this, setting it up. I don't have any trouble with it. But the new system is so easy. You just set it up and it's already aligned and there's no problems to, to do that. But basically, we just set this up and because I don't ever change anything, I don't have to change any of the any of the settings on this, and I just put the camera on it and ready to go. I'd like to make this harder so it looks more impressive, but it's really it's not hard. Uh, this is the final step that we do before we start taking pictures. 
is I come in and do a test shot, check to check, make sure everything's working. One of the things I have to look at is the flow, how we're going to bring the kids in, how they're going to get out, because we have to do a whole lot in not very much time. So I have to see how they're going to set up. This is new since the last time we were in here, so I have to work around it, but it shouldn't be that big a deal. Good. Smile for me now. Good. Stay right there. Try it again. A little smile for me. Thank you, sir. Good. Right out that way. Jeannie? Put your feet on the feet, sweetie. I think they used to Good. Smile for me a little bit. Good. Stay right there. Try it again. Say cheese. Say it for me. There you go. Thank you. Right out that way. Shana? Put your feet right on the feet. There you go. Good. Good. Smile for me now. Nice smile. Try that again. Say cheese. Good. Very good. Right out that way. Okay, Diamond. Smile for me now. Good. Stay right there. One more time. Say cheese. Thank you, sir. Right out that way. Robert? Good. Yeah, this is slow. Uh, earlier, we did the bigger kids and the much faster. You'll see. Good, just like that, good. Smile. The system is simple, it works. The hardest part is getting the kids in and out, and that's something that you just have to work with. Um, one of the things that you'll notice when I'm working is moving this back and forth here. I have, a, I have lines in the camera on the grid, and I move the background to where that needs to line up, so I've set it in approximately the same place each time. The, um, the rest of it stays the same. The, uh, sometimes I will zoom in and out to get a head size the way I want, but because I'm taking two different pictures, two different backgrounds, I always do it exactly the same. I take the, the plain background first, and then I take the background that may be different, the second one so that when I go in, I select out the ones that are different shots um, by going into the program and se selecting out the files, and then I will crop the files differently uh, using a macro to crop it. I will set up the uh, plain background with just a head and shoulders crop. I'll set up the other background, which in this case is a fall background, with a crop that shows down to the hands because they're standing here there like this. And that's really all that's involved with getting it ready. Then we proof it and send it out to the kids and hopefully we get some orders. And that's it. Uh, if you can't set this system up for, for doing this kind of picture in 20 minutes, uh, you're piddling around. 